Hey Canva friends! Today we are going to talk about font downloads and uploads um, to Canva. So I'm going to show you how where I find my fonts. 99% of my fonts are just free fonts. So I go to Google and I go to the font dot com and I'm not going to explain this website to you in much detail you can search the categories if you know which type of font you're looking for um, but I just generally take a look at like the recently added fonts a lot of the time they are going to be font based off of the um, season or the upcoming holiday. So that's why you can see kind of a, um, Valentine one here, um, which I do kind of like. So you go ahead and pick the one we want. Let's go and download it. Um, from here you need to find your download based off of whatever computer you're using. I am using Chromebook so sometimes it takes a minute to get that uploaded but let's see what if I can find it or I might have to pause the video and find it but you come to uploads just kidding sorry text and then I had this on for another video let's see if it's down here okay so you have to find it from this drop down Sometimes it's down at the bottom, but I have a lot of things going in. So there's, let, let's go back and start over and I'll do that one a little bit slower since I messed up. Okay. So you've just downloaded your font. You've come back to Canva. You're going to go to text. You're going to add a text box and then you're going to come to your fonts as if you were going to change the font, right? And work with that font. When you click into the font box, it comes up with all your fonts. You can come down here and click on upload font. And then you're just going to have to figure out where your your where the font is. It always takes me forever to figure out where the font is. So I'm going to pause and come back to this page when I have the font in so you're not waiting with me maybe for 45 minutes trying to find it. Um, after I get rid of this box. Okay, I figured it out. Didn't take me too long. So, okay. So I'm going to click the font that I want, that I downloaded. You have to extract it. You have to unzip it, all of that. Then you double click it. And when you're going to open it, you're going to open it from your file into Canva. It always tells you... Um, you need to confirm that you have rights to the font. If you're going to be displaying your font, your image somewhere, you have to have the rights to those fonts. Um, some sort of legal mumble jumble. You can't like take their font and resell the font as your own. Those types of things. Um, if you're going to be using them in like commercial use and publicizing use, you have to buy the rights for that. So make sure you're following all of those rules. Um, if you're downloading from the font and it's free, Doing something like this is okay. Um, if you're just going to print something out, I mean, whatever. Don't don't sell it on your website if you're not giving credit where credit is due. So you want to upload it after it gives you that warning to make sure you're doing whatever you're supposed to be doing legally. Um, now that it is in there, you can, um, if you remember the name of your font, you can search for it which I downloaded two because I thought that one wasn't working. So I downloaded both of these, um, but I figured out how to do it with the second font. So I did keep both of them and I am going to upload both of them. So they're love lady and natural signature. So come back here and I've uploaded it. So now I'm just going to look for it. Um, here is love lady so love lady font here 
and then this font was the natural so uh, the natural yeah any to you is that what I did maybe I didn't know about it or maybe it's that teeny tiny one down in there let's see let's try no it's not okay maybe I didn't upload it that's okay so we're gonna delete these and we're gonna make this bigger so we can see it um, so there's the font Love lady. So this is the font that we downloaded here. Um, but if you're like me, you probably downloaded this would download this font for these cute little end pieces in this middle heart and this little arrow. So to figure out how to do that, you need to go into your font and you need to read the little keyboard. Um Uh, let's see if they give you that as an option here. Some of them you have to pay for to get that option. Mm, okay, so this one doesn't tell you. Let's read and see. Okay, I'll man up Mm hmm. Well, that one doesn't have it, so I won't show you that. But if it had some of them, we guess we could probably try and find the fonts that have them here. But they will tell you which keys you have to press to get these cute. Um, Easter, I guess we'll go with Easter to get. Let's see if this one will tell us how do we get the ears above the E with the little bunny toe. Hmm. Doesn't. Unless it's a capital B and a capital E. But you should be able to use this that font on anything okay I'm gonna pause and I will come back and I will see if I can figure it out and show you okay so I didn't take the time to find a font before to show you that um, as I didn't plan on it so I'll just show you now since we talked I talked about it but this font right here is all of these eggs and these bunnies so to get um let's say we want to use this polka dot dalmatian looking egg you download this font you upload it to canva and now you're like well how do i get these this egg you can come here and find that egg and then you would type j in your text box to get this or l to get this and so these are capital and then these are lowercase so this comes with 26 and then up till W with the lowercase. So lowercase, uh, let's see, a capital J is this Dalmatian looking egg, and a lowercase j is this present wrapped egg. So if the font that you get from the font comes with these fonts, it will be on the keyboard. The free version does not come with it. So you would have to search Easter Bunny font and download and buy the real font to get these add-ins here. So when you're downloading a font, if you're picking a font based off of those cute things, like I picked those fonts to begin with, the Love um, Lady one, I picked that font for the add-ins, which I would have to go in and buy, even though this is still a cute font, right? Um, so yeah, that's uploading in Canva uploading, um, well, downloading, I guess, from a website, I choose to font and then uploading through Canva. 
and then finding them here. So if it doesn't come up here once you've downloaded it, you can just close your tabs and relaunch Canva. You don't have to sign out of it like or anything like that, which is similar to how you would in Cricut. With Cricut, you have to sign out and close it and launch it. Procreate and Canva, you don't have to do that. But if for some reason it is like that, um, be sure to just close it out and do it. Uh, um, launch it again. I follow Canva on Twitter and, and Facebook and I'm probably Instagram. It's a good place to um, follow. That's where they've, they post their system issues. In the year and a half-ish I've been using Canva, it's gone down twice. One time was like two hours. One time was like 20 minutes. So Canva doesn't go down often. <laughs> Knock on wood, right? But that's where I go to check those things. If they're having issues with fonts, they would post it there. So Kim, follow that for that. It gives you a lot of inspiration as well. Sometimes they give you some beginner tips. Um, there's competitions you can enter. So it's a good thing to follow. But I follow that in case I'm having technical difficulties. I check their Twitter or their Facebook. Twitter is usually a little bit quicker of being updated. And more comments and more troubleshooting happen in Twitter for some reason. I hate Twitter. But yeah, Twitter that, Facebook it, maybe Instagram it. But that is all for this video. Um, in another video, I will talk about this toolkit builder. Um, I may have to create another Canva to show you that just because this one, is, like I've said many times, is for my work. So I'll have to check that page out and see if it has anything related to my work. And if I can show it, um, I will, as long as it doesn't have anything work specific on there. Um, and then I'll show you how to find your versions on a board I've done, and then we'll do downloading in Canva. So thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.